Hi, this is Marita Osanek, founder of Immigration Biz, and in this video, we're going to discuss visa extension. So if you are in the US and you are here on non-immigrant visa status, for example, B or F or M or J um, or O or P, you can apply for extension. Now, there is a difference between visa status, visa stamp in your passport, and I already did video on this previously, so you can check it out at our YouTube channel. If you are in the US and your, your visa status is about to expire, it doesn't matter what's in your passport, it doesn't matter what stamp you have in your passport, what matters is your status. So if your status, non-immigrant status is about to expire and you don't want to go back to your home country or you're, you don't want to leave the country and you have a reason for it, you can extend your status, your status, legal status in the US. So let's take an example, you are here as a tourist and you are here as a tourist for six months. Maybe you are visiting certain conferences or, or business meetings and you wanna extend your status. You can do so if you submit the form I-539. This form can be submitted either by mail or online if you create an Alice account. And you can do so, you can find this account at uscis.gov. There is a filing fee, 290 and make sure if you do that, it's very important to state reasons why you're doing it and also you need to show your ties to your home country. So make sure that if you are here as a tourist and you are extending your visa, make sure that you there is a good reasoning behind it. So they don't assume that you are going to work here illegally or do something else illegal because it sounds a little bit suspicious why you want to stay here 12 months, right? So think about it, if you're staying and you want to extend your status for let's say another six months, because you as a tourist, you already got six months, period. If you want to stay, extend for another six months, make sure that you have a valid reason why you'd want to do it. And make sure that you have a strong evidence that will support this. So for example, if you, um, as I said, if you want to attend another conferences, maybe you have like 20 more conferences in a row, make sure that you, stay, that you also include the bank statement saying that you have, for example, 20 or $30,000 or maybe even more depends on your living expenses or where you're staying while during your trip. Also make sure that you will um, submit evidence that is saying what's going to happen with your, with your, maybe with your job at home or maybe with your family. You just need to show, uh, prove that you will return back home. For example, if you have a job, you need to show that maybe your employee gave you, uh, gave you um, a notice or, or, or will, will sort of, sort of, Prove documentation that he is okay that you are staying here or maybe you will have a new employer so you will have a new employment contract when you're coming back home. This is just an example. So make sure that you really have a good evidence to support your extension of your status. Um, also, if you're submitting any copies, make sure that uh, these copies are translated into English, certified translation. So it's, if you just translate them, they're not gonna accept it. So make sure that you have certified trans tran translations and <clears throat> make sure that also you submit uh, your current status. So if you have a visa, just submit a copy of your current visa and also copy of I-94. So this is the checklist for you. If you have any questions, please leave them below or you can visit uh, our website immigrationbeast.com, our blog for more information if you like. And if you like, you can also email us with additional questions at office at immigrationbeast.com. Thank you so much for watching.